Coca Falcos, welcome to your channel. It's a boring Sunday here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and I thought I would love to take this opportunity to share with you some tips on how to survive scenarios like this. So, Sabuhai OFWs or overseas Filipino workers. Very, very common na ma-encounter namin ng boredom. So, napag-isipan ko to share some tips based on my personal experiences as a, a rig medic na nag-work na for uh, 7 years in uh, the Middle East. So, ayun, this episode is about uh, survival tips for OFWs. And before I proceed, I would love to play a song first. Listen, guys. So, parang uh, DJ DJ hatay. Yeah. me. I was wondering if after all these years you lied to me. Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to do You were the shadows in my life Did you feel us? guys, ang isa sa way out or isa sa escapes, isa sa mga escapes ko na ginagamit to relieve uh, the stress brought about by uh, working here is listening to music. Malaking bagay po ang naitutulong ng music uh, para mais ang tension, mais ang uh, kalungkutan, ang loneliness. <laughs> ang boredom. Music, music lang. So, ayun na isa sa tips, guys. Okay. Ayun. Going back to our main topic on my personal tips based on experience kung paano ko na-survive ang rig medic life since uh, 2013. First and foremost kasi I have been challenging myself to be a man of honor. So, I challenge also those who are aspiring to work or those who are aiming to work abroad, mapa Middle East, Australia, or other countries, that before you make such decision, uh, kailang buo ang decision niyo at napag-isipan, not just two times, three times. Because as always, the number one factor should be, uh, sh the number one na tip to survive, it should be, you have to stand your decision. So if you decide finally that you will want, or you, you, you will want to, or you want to work abroad, then you have to stand by that decision. So be a man of honor. You have to be ready to take risk and to, fa to face the consequences of uh, going out um, from the country. Kung nag-decide nag ikaw na mag-work ikaw sa any country, kailang tapusin mo ang kontrata for whatever it takes. Of course, may mga exceptions naman dyan. Like, for instance, um, for, you are physically abused already for those uh, other domestic helpers, the physically abused sila, ng employers nila or those uh, workers na may mga cases kasi na iba ang pinirmahan sa Philippines and then iba ang situation dito then may mga companies minsan na 
maayos ang endorsement ng agencies doon. Pero pagdating dito, hindi maayos ang pasahod. Ibang-iba, kung baga may mga ganong situations. So, ang ibang OFWs na resort into filing cases sa labor. And iba na la ang iba naman, they choose to uh, leave the company and decide to go back to the Philippines. Which is acceptable naman for me. Yung mga ganong exceptions. Pero, kung mga um, minimal or mga mild na imperfections lang ng company, well, ang OFWs are very, very aware about that. Mapa Philippines man or mapa dito, lahat ng companies talaga may mga imperfections, may mga weaknesses. Uh, walang perfect na company. Especially dito sa Middle East. Ang dami-daming mga weaknesses ang bawat company. Sa aming uh, company also, meron ding mga weaknesses So, kung mga mild, mild lang naman, um, they are just to, just to be a man of honor. And since you decided to go here, have this uh, perseverance and persistence na tatapusin mo na lang ang kontrata at hindi lang basta-basta uh, susuko or with uh, just these minor issues, um, hindi mo natatapusin ang kontra dahil, dahil ganito, dahil ganito. No. Um, for minor issues, as I have said, marami talagang lapses. Um, pag hindi naman major lapse ang company, then, so be it. Just finish the contract and if you're not satisfied with the, how the company treats you, then after you finish the contract, final exit na lang from the company. Or, um, Diba? Second tip, be adaptive. Set the right thinking. Pumunta nga tayo dito sa ibang country, kaya kailangang mag-adapt tayo sa anumang culture na meron sila. So you have to have that correct mindset na hindi tayo nasa Pilipinas. So as a rig medic, minsan sa rig, like, sa rig assignment ko ngayon, wala talagang, uh, walang Filipino foods. Because uh, we are only three here, Filipinos. Means, may times nga dati na ako lang talaga mag-isa na Filipino. So, lang naman mag-hire sila ng Filipino uh, cook for me. So, pag uh, ang rig may Filipino cook, you're very, very blessed already. There are like maybe... 40% only of the Saudi Aramco rig contractors merong Filipino cook. Pero the rest, wala. So, tiyaga-tiyaga tayo sa curry or big foods or whatever. So, huwag na yung mag... Yung mga, ganit, mga ganyan, learn to be uh, adaptive. Para maka-adapt ka. Kasi kung mag insist insist ka at maghahanap ng wala, bakit ganito? Iba ang wala dito. Iba ang wala dito. Hindi ka talaga magtatagal. Hindi ka makaka-survive if you are thinking of those that are not provided by uh, the contractor. So, kailang may right mindset ka. Tapos, since nandito ikaw, multicultural. So, wag mong i-insist kung ano yung belief mo doon sa Philippines uh, dito. Kasi magkakaiba-iba nga. Kasi kung i-insist mo ang own belief mo, uh, ganun. So, magkaka magkakaroon lang ng conflict at yung mga conflict-conflict nagkakos ng stress at uh, of course, eventually yung stress will add up to your tensions which finally results to your thinking na, na masyadong napagod na so tigil na lang ng kontrata so hindi mo matatapos, hindi ka makakasurvive um, develop a higher tolerance and let the hardship motivate you to be stronger. So, kailang ganun. May mga hardships talagang madadaanan ang dami. Kaya, um, let that hardships make you to be more and more stronger. Then, okay, mahalaga sa OFW ang uh, solid support system. So, I am very blessed na I have this one Kasi mahihirapan na makasurvive ang OFWs pag uh, walang support na nakukuha or na-feel man lang from the his or her families 
sa Filip from the Philippines. For instance, uh, problematic na nga dito because of different tasks na kailang tapusin because of the very uh, because of a few people na nagkukos ng uh, um, problema sa OFWs then mag add pa ng problema ang family sa Pilipinas then alam na magiging mentally unstable na ang OFWs kung ano una yung dagdag stress kung baga, kung baga. so uh, shout out to all the families of OFWs in the Philippines please take care of your OFWs uh, kung may mga pamilya kayo abroad please take care of them Napakadal, napakadaling sabihin na oo, napakahirap maging OFW. Ang dali-dali sabihin. Pero the, the level of difficulty, hindi mo mararanasan exactly unless you became one or you become one. Believe me, when I was in high school, uh, OFWs are heroes. Uh, ganun they, they, they sacrifice their family. Easier said. Pero, hindi mamimeasure or hindi mafeel ang, hindi, hindi mafeel ng sino man ang buhay talaga ng OFW unless he becomes one. Or unless he became one. Sometimes I'm lost. I just can't let this go.